I play John Rosmer, who is a an ex-pastor. He's lost his faith. He's become a, a very progressive politically, um, but he's in this slight place of flux where he's kind of questioning everything and and trying to decide where best to place his energies. I play Rebecca West, and she's considered one of Ibsen's little-known but great heroines, and, and often. I think she's been seen through a misogynistic lens of a Machiavellian or a manipulative femme fatale. And really her story is, uh, she's ahead of her time. She's a free thinker. She believes in the emancipation of women and of workers. I think it's a very important piece of political theatre at the moment, but don't let that put you off, because it's also epic, it's mythical, it's funny, it's romantic, it's got everything. Expect... Um a lot of questions to be asked that a lot of people are asking right now, today. Um, so expect a lot of uh, stimulation in terms of the things that we're grappling with and struggling with right now. Also expect a lot of humour. It's a very funny play. It's quite moving to have uh, a Norwegian writer from 1886 going, I, I see you, I feel you, like, I, 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 have this, I had this experience too, but it's also incredibly demoralising to know this has always been the situation. We've always been asking these same questions and they are still uh, insoluble. What to do, how to vote, how to use our name, how to reckon with our own privilege, how to use our voice and our agency for, for the benefit of those who don't have a voice or agency. I'd seen Duncan's work and putting him on this play was such a good thing because he's found a way of distilling Ibsen, absolutely serving Ibsen, but making it feel like a new play. And that old adage of you do a new play like a classic, a classic like a new play, that's what we saw tonight. The thing about Ibsen is you feel that people are changing each other irrevocably from the get-go and, and, and even before the get-go. So there is a sense of something kind of piling up. Uh, which I think is, is that feeling of a thriller you get. We're in such an exciting time for women at the moment in that it's an opportunity to take the space, to take our place, to say what needs to be said, to be heard, to trust ourselves, our own instincts, to carry on what our mothers before us have done for us so that there is genuine equality. And that's a long way to go. And you have characters like this that are standing on this stage now and the words that she's saying feel very different today than they did when, she, when it was written in 1886. But they land in quite a profound way to a lot of the women in the audience.